It's hard to believe what we used to consider garbage. Take our recyclables, for example. Plastic containers, glass jars, aluminum cans, milk containers, and paper are now a resource, not waste. And we're not just recycling in our homes anymore. We're also separating our waste at work and in public places, too. HRM residents place over 330 tons of recyclables curbside for collection every week. That's equal to the weight of 16 Metro Transit buses. Thanks to everyone's efforts, over 60% of our waste never reaches the landfill. Recycling has become a habit for us. It's easy to do, and we don't even realize what a difference it makes. And it all starts here, with you. What goes where is important, and I'll show you why. Daily, over 80 trucks deliver blue bag and paper recyclables to the HRM Recycling Facility in the Bayers Lake Industrial Park. The facility, which opened in 1991, can process up to 28,000 tons of material each year. Staff direct trucks to drop off materials in two areas of the plant. Each recycling truck is divided into two compartments, one for blue bag recyclables and one for paper items. The paper, which makes up 80% of the material collected, is dropped off first. The blue bags are next. They get tipped on the floor at the other end of the plant. The trucks then leave, crossing the scale to weigh out. The fiber line processes all paper products. And those bags you use to collect the paper in, retail, grocery, or clear, are recycled too. Workers pull off corrugated cardboard, which heads into the bunkers. At the next station, sorters open the bags of paper. The paper passes over disc screeners and falls onto conveyors, where the sorters remove waste that shouldn't be there. The clean paper falls into the bunker. When the bunker is full, the front-end loader pushes the paper from the conveyor over to the baler, where it is readied for final shipment to market. Over 100 bales, each weighing about 700 kilograms, are shipped out daily. By recycling all this paper, we can turn this into this, or even this. By making sure we sort properly, we save an entire acre of forest every day. That's about the size of a soccer field. At the other end of the facility, a skid steer pushes blue bags onto the in-floor conveyor, moving them through the bag breaker, which opens the bag so the material inside can be sorted. Workers take the plastic bags and place them in bunkers, so they can be baled and sent off for recycling too. There are six stations along the sorting line, and each worker on the line has a particular item to sort. Plastic containers, beverage containers, plastic bags, glass, and milk containers. Magnets help pull tin and aluminum cans into the bunkers below the line. And it's the end of the line for this stuff, all material that shouldn't have been in the blue bag in the first place. The biggest offender? Paper. When it's mixed with bottles and cans in the blue bag, it gets soiled or contaminated from broken glass. If it's not put in the right place at the curb, it can't be recycled. That's why what goes where is so important. So why bother? Did you know that by recycling just one bale of aluminum, we can save enough energy to power the average home for two years? When you put these at the curb, the recycling process turns them back into something like this. Now that's progress. So with everyone's help, we get this from this and keep it all from filling up this. It makes sense to give our waste a second chance. And with your help, we give our planet a fighting chance, too. It's up to us to make the effort to be green. While we still need to move more from the garbage to our blue bags and green carts, we're on the right track. Green and blue, it's up to you.